Hello folks and welcome to another exciting tutorial with Spinal Crochet. If you haven't subscribed, please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates. Today I'll be showing you how to make these lovely lacy headbands along with the butterflies. I've used elastic hair ties here to make it stretch friendly. And I've covered this with two different crochet techniques trying to hide the elastic band which I'll show you during the video. Part of the hair tie will show when it is stretched but since it's going to be at the back of the head hopefully it's unnoticeable. So I'm going to start this video with the headbands first. I'll be using a 4mm crochet hook double knit yarn and we will need a hair tie. So we will start by weaving onto our hair tie over here. So place the hair tie, place the hair tie first and then the yarn at the back, pull up a loop like this and then chain one. Now to secure the yarn a bit on the hair tie, work your single crochets around the hair tie and the yarn. So insert in the center, pick up a loop and pull through both loops to make a single crochet. Make one more single crochet. So the starting tail will be weaved in afterwards. Now chain one and turn your work. Make two single crochets in the first stitch. Make two single crochets in the second single crochet here. So we have four single crochets here. Chain one, turn your work. So we will make an increase in the first single crochet which is two single crochets in the same stitch. Then make two single crochets in the next two stitches. One, two. Now in the fourth stitch here make an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch. Now here we have a total of six single crochets. Chain one and turn your work. Make two single crochets in the first stitch. Now make single crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And in the next, which is the last stitch, make an increase, which is two single crochets. So here we have eight single crochets. Now chain two and turn your work. Chain two here is considered as your first double crochet. Yarn over and insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, this is your double crochet. So we have two double crochets in the first stitch, chain one, skip one stitch, yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch and make a double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch and in the next stitch, Make a double crochet, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, skip a stitch and now you're at your last stitch. Make a double crochet in this last stitch. So this is the row with the gaps and the lace pattern starts from here. Chain three and turn your work. We are now going to be working in the chain 1 spaces, so yarn over, insert the hook in the chain 1 space and make a double crochet. Chain 1 and then insert the hook in the chain 1 space and then make a double crochet. Chain 1, insert the hook in the next chain 1 space and double crochet. Chain 1, now we are going to go into the space between the chain, starting chain and the first double crochet and make our last double crochet of the row here. Chain 3 and turn your work. Now again working in the chain 1 spaces and then the space between the last two stitches here, work to double crochet. So I'm going to repeat this pattern for a number of rows. So as long as the headband requirement is and just before the end we're going to decrease the stitches to mimic the starting stitches.
with the lace pattern I've completed 21 rows here now finishing exactly the same way as we started chain 1 and turn your work for this row we're going to be doing single crochet in each stitch including the chain 1 space over here so try to find the stitch on top of the chain 1 space and make a single crochet make one single crochet across each stitch For the last single crochet of the row, try to find the top stitch of the chain 3 which was our starting chain. I've tried to go under both loops and made our last single crochet of the row. Now chain 1 and turn your work. Make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert the hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops this is your first decrease make four single crochets in the next four stitches now in the last two stitches make a decrease insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop insert the hook in the last stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops now chain one and turn your work make a decrease in the first two stitches inserting the hook in the first stitch pull up a loop insert the hook in the next stitch pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook pull through all three loops now make two single crochets in the next two stitches Make a decrease in the last two stitches. Now chain one and turn your work. Over here we're going to be placing the hair tie from the back of our work like this. Bring it to the working chain here. Place it like this so that the hair tie is at the back now insert the hook in the first stitch going through going um, into the loop of the hair tie pull up a loop insert the hook in the next stitch like this so this is the decrease and we're doing it on top of our hair tie you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops make a decrease in the next two stitches keeping the hair tie closed so that it is weaved in while you work your decrease like this so we've ended with a decrease and uh, two single crochets for the last row over here I'm going to join the hair tie together like this and work on top so this is the first method that I'm showing you how to cover up your hair tie so insert the hook under your hair tie yarn over pull up a loop you have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two so this is your single crochet single crochet across the whole of your hair tie There is no specific count for the single crochets covering your hair tie but whatever stitch count you think is comfortably covering the hair tie you can stop there and we're not going to be attaching it towards the other end as it is already attached from one end. If we do so it's going to limit the stretchness of your hair tie. So we're going to leave it over here keeping it on one side so that when it's stretched uh, the hairband has comfortable area to stretch itself. Now cut off the extra yarn over here. Now I'm going to show you the second method I used to cover my hair tie. So chain one and cut off your yarn leaving a long tail. 
pull it through. Now with the yarning needle, we're going to do our um, rest of the work. So yarn the thread onto your needle. Now hold the hair tight together like this. Insert the needle in the center and pull it back up from the left side. Now keep the thread over here, insert the hook again, in, sorry, insert the needle in the center and pull it towards the right. Insert the hook in the center, pull it towards the left. So this is what we're going to be repeating, inserting the hook in the, sorry, inserting the needle in the center and pulling towards right side and left side alternately. So this is going to give you a very nice texture and it's not going to be bulky compared to the single crochet stitches we did in the previous uh, method where we covered our hair tie. So keep repeating this until you're happy with the uh, coverage. So when you're nearly done with the thread, just weave it back in onto the hair tie like this, securing your tail into your work. So the starting tail also had a small piece of yarn here, so I'm just going to use the same method to cover um, the side section of the hair tie from the other side. If you don't have that, that's perfectly all right. You don't need to do it. I'm just doing it to cover up a bit and hiding the tail. And a piece of the hair band will show uh, and when it stretches it's going to be nice and stretchy. Do not join them together or it will limit your stretch. Now we'll be working for our butterfly and I'm using a 4mm crochet hooked red and white yarn. So starting our work with the white yarn, make a slip knot and secure it on your hook. Chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now insert the hook in the first chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the same loop through the loop on your hook, making a slip stitch. Now you have a little circle at the center of this chain. We're going to be working in this uh, circle over here. Starting with the chain 2, and the chain 2 here stands as your first double crochet. Now yarn over, insert the hook in the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is your double crochet. So you've got a set of two double crochets over here. Chain two. Make two double crochets in the center circle. This is one double crochet. And now the second one. and then chain two. So we'll be working this for a set of eight double crochets and uh, at the end chain two and join with the starting chain. So 
so here I am at the end of the round after the chain 2 here we're going to make a slip stitch on top of the starting chain 2 so find the top of the starting chain 2 and make a slip stitch cut off the extra yarn and we don't need a long tail here Now starting the next round, attach the red colored yarn to our circle. So I'm going to attach it not on the same point that we finished but somewhere else and we have to attach it between the two double crochets. Not in the chain 2 space but between the two double crochets. So insert your hook between the two double crochets. Place the yarn on your hook. and pull it through. Chain one over here. Now we'll be working in the chain two spaces. So yarn over and make a double crochet. Make four double crochets in the chain two space. Keeping the starting tail at the back so that you weave in while you work. One. two, three, four, four double crochets and now we're going to make a treble crochet so yarn over twice insert the hook in the same space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now in the same space over here we're going to be working four double crochets so yarn over, insert the hook in the same space and make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So this stitch we're going to be working in all the chain two spaces around and uh, we'll be making a slip stitch between the two double crochets from the previous round. So insert your hook in between the two double crochets and make a slip stitch. Now moving to the next chain two space, repeat the pattern by making four double crochets, one treble crochet and four double crochets.
so the second round with the red yarn is complete over here now attach this to the starting with a slip stitch so insert the hook under the first stitch over here or you could go into the top stitch so I'm going into the top stitch and making a slip stitch like this So next over here we're going to make a small chain, so chain 10. Next we are going to fold our work. So fold it so you have two petals or two sides of the butterfly on one side and two on the other, two in front and two at the back. So this is how it will look like and this is how the chain will go around the butterfly. If you want the butterfly to be separate and then attach it on the headband, so go ahead, attach this chain to the starting bit and then attach the butterfly onto your work. But I'm going to attach the butterfly onto the work along with the chain so that it is secure on the headband and then I'm going to secure it to the start of the chain. So place the butterfly the way you want on the headband. I would like it slightly diagonal on the headband. Pull it through one of the um, holes over here. You could pull it from the start, from the edge to edge, but I wanted uh, the edge to be straight, otherwise there's going to be a slight pull. So I'm going to take it in from one of the holes. And over here I'm going to cut the yarn. I don't need a very long tail, but I'm going to leave a nice tail to secure the work. So over here, as you can see, I've cut off the yarn and now I'm pulling it through the other small side like this trying to keep the shape of the butterfly and the side I want to be in front intact when it's, uh, once it's done like this make a slip stitch with the starting bit and then chain one pull your yarn through straighten your work and you can see the little bit at the back so you don't need extra yarn to secure the butterfly but I'm going to use this little ending tail to secure the wings onto the butterfly so that they don't sorry onto the headband so that they don't curl up on the bottom end otherwise the butterfly could curl up right into the center so here as you can see I've used the little thread to secure it Next you need a small bit of the yarn, just a small bit over here as you can see to make the feelers of the butterfly. So place it like this and at the ends just make a little knot to secure the ends from unwinding. Like this. And I'm going to cut the extra bit to make it nice and neat. Do it for the other side as well. So the little feathers of the butterfly are made in this way. Just straighten them, place them the way you want them. They're going to curl on their own, but that's all right. Just play with it a little. And here the headband with the butterfly is ready. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.